choice to be here tonight for you people because you're smart people. I, uh, people I don't understand in the summertime, people go wilderness backpacking by themselves. These people are idiots. I, I, I don't understand this. They, they, they go off by themselves, they get lost, they get injured, they can't move, and then they expect everybody else to take a day off work to go find their sorry asses. I have a good rule in life. I never go anywhere where I can't see the McDonald arches. You're never gonna have to come and find me. You know, it kills me. These people always find the middle of nowhere, the hardest place to, 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 you know, to rescue them. It just kills me, these people. You know what? It, it's too boring to walk around the block. No, it's, it's always, I must go where no man could save me. But, oh, they can't get a helicopter down there. <laughs> Oh, my ankle, I can't move off a poisonous snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these people deserve to die. They're stupid. Yeah. We can afford to lose these people. It's a good rule in life. If you're stupid, you die. That's how nature works, right? I, you know, I believe on the Discovery Channel they refer to this as natural selection. You ever watch those nature shows, right? I, I love the promo for the Discovery Channel. It's always, you know, those zebras around the watering hole. There's always that one zebra looking at the floating log. Oh, what's that? A floating log? It's a crocodile every time. And you, and you know the head zebra is like, how many times do we have to go through this? Logs do not have eyes. You get your drink and you get back in the herd. Doesn't, it, doesn't anyone remember when Denny lost a hind leg last week? God. You see all the lines going, apparently there's a three-legged zebra named Denny. <laughs> and I love where I live, you know, in Los Angeles. Now, California seems to be the worst state for with these wilderness backpackers that get lost. And they love survivor stories. They had this one guy a couple of years ago that was lost for 18 days. Everybody gave up on this guy because, you know, he was a civilian. I mean, you know, Navy SEAL. 18 days, no problem, but a civilian, 18, everybody gave up on this guy. Everybody thought this guy was dead. His wife remarried. You know, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's that layer shallow, you know. That, uh, husband's in the basement for three hours. I do. What the hell's going on? I was in the basement. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, it's shallow. Yeah. But, uh, this guy was gone for 18 days. Everybody thought he was dead. They found him barely alive. You know, they put him in the hospital. You know, it took about a week for this guy to come to, but boy, they couldn't wait to get the cameras in front of him. Six o'clock news, they couldn't wait to ask him, how did you survive in the wilderness without any food or water for 18 days? I couldn't believe it. The guy looked right in the camera and went, I drank my own urine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why would you tell anyone this? You know, that's one of the reasons I will never go wilderness backpacking, because I know I'd rather die than drink my own urine. I'm sorry, you know? I don't care if I'm with 50 other people. Come on, my girl, freaking ours. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Get away from me, you wiggles. You know, you know, tastes like chicken soup. No, it doesn't, all right? I know I've never tried it, but some things you just know, all right? Leave me alone. I'm going to go die over there by myself with a little sign that said, did not drink the urine, all right? Besides the obvious fact that, you know, it's really disgusting, uh, another reason I would never drink my own urine, because I know, with the kind of luck I have, the moment I drink my own urine, that's when they find me. That would be the cosmic joke. I'd be able to go, oh my god, I, I never thought I'd have to drink my own urine, but if I don't, I'm gonna die, but, but there's no cups or anything.